Kidd was, uh, he was the um, commander of uh, Battleship Division One, which consisted of, of three ships, mm -hmm. the, the Arizona, which he had formerly commanded, and the Pennsylvania and the Nevada. And when the attack um, came, he took over. He, he headed to the, to the, to the bridge of the, um, mm -hmm. of, uh, of the Arizona, assumed command, and, it, um, and he did the best he could yeah. under very, very difficult circumstances to try to, to do what he could to repel the attack. One of the, right. one of the sad parts of the story yeah. of his death was that when uh, his body was never found, he, he was right. blown up uh, when, when the, uh, the bomb from, from the plane dropped, uh, hit, hit the, um, uh, the magazine mm -hmm. on the ship and it, right, right underneath the bridge and just blew up um, upwards and disintegrated everything, including uh, Admiral. Uh, kid's body, no part of his body was ever found. His his uh, Naval Academy ring was found welded to the bridgehead by the force of the explosion. And so no body ever found, uh, no house still standing. The schools that he went to, West West High and Detroit, both also both torn down. So the only the only um, and it's one of the things that, that's motivated me on, on doing the research and writing the story is that there's really um, very little by way of memorial to Admiral Kidd here in Cleveland. There is a historical marker right. um, on, uh, on East 9th Street across from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but it's sort of an inconspicuous place. From everything I could tell from my research, he was a, a recognized leader early on, a grade school and high mm -hmm. school for sure. He was president of his class. He, was a, he, he gave a commencement address in which he ironically um, spoke of, uh, the, he called it uh, the yellow peril. And what, what he meant was uh, the, the threat of the Japanese in the Pacific, their oh. desire to ex expand uh, militarily. Yeah. And so ironic that he ended up uh, dying as a result of an attack by the Japanese. Do you think most Clevelanders, Northeast Ohioans, really don't know anything about Admiral Kidd? I would imagine that's the case. Yeah. And, it, and it's, um, it's, 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 again, it's somewhat ironic because um, there's so much attention focused on um, World War II and, and the surviving veterans, and, mm -hmm. yeah. and so uh, you would expect that this would be a time for people to, Clevelanders especially, to once again uh, yeah. recognize uh, Kidd's career and his bravery at Pearl Harbor, and, uh, but I don't, I don't know that that's the case. Cleveland's got a, a wonderful, rich history, and, and Kidd is certainly part of it.